Okay, so to recap real quick, uh, physically based shading, no more specular, hello reflections. And now we're, you know, physically accurate, so that means that we have to adhere to energy conservation laws. Your diffuse plus reflection plus refraction cannot exceed the amount of incoming light that your lighting environment provides. Also make sure that your engine operates in linear space, sort of laws and your texture pixels actually represent the amount of energy that the surface transmits. So the biggest difference that we have is the difference between the electrics and metals because they have different optical properties to them. And the biggest thing here is that A, you know, we now have free nail reflections because the electrics down here at the bottom, they aren't very reflective at facing angles but get super reflective at grazing angles, whereas metals are just almost always reflective, which means they don't really need too much of a diffuse texture in the first place. So this would be the biggest difference as you can see here and now you know going on to specular because your metals are so bright their specular contribution is super intense which means that they don't really rely on diffuse a lot whereas the electrics rely on diffuse a lot but there is a catch and the catch is that uh, the electrics rely on just float values reflectivity because they reflect white light completely as it is, whereas metals, they absorb some waves and, you know, that's why their specular reflection is colored. Also, one thing to know is that everything is specular, no matter how basically unspecular it looks. It's just the amount of roughness that the surface gets, but something even that looks as, you know, not shiny as a pair of jeans also actually, you know, possesses a fair amount of specular reflectivity to it. And basically, it's mostly controlled by roughness, how your of surface will be perceived in this generation so you want to take care of that and you know the rougher the surface the bluer the reflection but also the dimmer the reflection because of the energy conservation laws and offering it is pretty straightforward just look at this reference image or just trust your gut and most of the time you'll get it right also uh, you know plastic painting with metal shiny stuff will just have metallic optical properties whereas metals painted with something that is de-electric will have a de-electric appearance and authoring albedo means removing ambient occlusion or just leaving just a smidge of it in there and removing your specular contribution and hopefully adjusting for your lens and your color of your lighting or whatever else you have in your scene of your lens say so yeah that was it hope you guys enjoyed